Okay, now if I was trying to do a reproduction, I'm sure that I would want to go ahead and get these markings right. It looks like there's one, two, three marks that kind of radiate. Uh, this last one kind of goes below. The other one kind of goes above and comes around. Okay, this one. Okay, so we got this one. Kind of make the marks like you would a large mouth or something. I don't see any difference at all, really. Okay, then that one. It goes below the ear flap. And it comes above. It may even connect a little bit. But it, it goes around the ear flap. It looks like. It goes up a ways. Then it meets with a lateral line and comes back in. And there's another one right here. And some of them come down. See, it goes around. And these other two go down. And then there's like another one, almost like a fourth one. It comes right off the... It comes off the eye, too. It radiates right off the eye a little bit. But it's way up here. So it goes... It's almost at the very bottom. Not quite. It goes about right here. But it's very light. Looks like you get some marks through here. Start with the one, two, three in a row, then above it maybe two in a row. Then some of them go down. Up like this. Now here at the lateral line, it looks like there's a towards the head right in here. Some of them are connected. What it is, it looks like they almost come down from the spot. There's like there's some stripes. Let's see. Yeah, there's like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bars that stop. One's in front of the spiny dorsal. That would be here. Okay, one, one in front of the spiny dorsal, and the other three are on the spiny dorsal. So you got one. Uh, let's see. Here's the last one. Well, actually, a little bit before, about right here. Okay. So you've got. Yeah, so you've got one, two, and then three. And the spaces in between the stripes are, are thinner. Okay. And, you know, you can make them as detailed as you want. Oh yeah, the first thing I did was I, I got some dark black, painted over it, got some lacquer thinner and went over it. To replicate what a skin mount would probably look like, or really close to it. So that's kind of what we got going on. Now here at the lateral line, they almost all, almost, they kind of meet. I mean, they break up a little, but not much. And the, the, the barring pattern is hollow inside. So not all of them get it. Okay, that's a... Uh, okay, there's... Okay, that's the first four. And we got five, six. The other one is behind the door, so okay. And it's hardly hollow at all. I'm sure they all differ too. Then after that, you got spots. It's like a like a little V here that goes to the lateral line. There's some kind of stuff, maybe a little above it, and a couple of 
almost like a bar here. And you got some more spotting, random spotting, making up little bars and what have you. Okay, then you go around here and some of them connect around. I mean, it's almost like they, they encircle something. Here's one above the lateral line. Well, this one goes below the lateral line. And below that, you've got... Then you've got here. Towards the tail, it looks like some of them are hollow at the ladder line. Okay, this one. Almost all of them are right through here. This is just a rough draft, you know, you can fix it up later. You know, with your airbrush. Here you may have a spot or two. And of course through here you got your spotting. You can almost just put a line. As you get towards the end, it starts breaking up. You can look at my fish painting schedule for that. Now then spotting below this, this stripe pattern, towards the front, they're pretty solid. It's like this first bar comes down and it's like, takes up about three scales and two scales. Then it goes back and then Picks up another scale. In other words, some of these spots are clumped together, is the right word. They relate roughly to the barn pattern. It's like the barn pattern goes through the lateral line vaguely and then it uh, kind of stops. It'll take three to four scales of dots clumped together. Then it stops. Towards the tail, they get, they kind of relate to, they come, uh, yeah, towards the latter one, they, okay, one, Two, three. I'm better off using a pen for all this, really. Okay, looks like we've got. Then here's another one. Okay, then it looks like that goes almost through the eye, I guess you could say. Both of them do. And they come out the front, right in the center. Well, in the world, there's that. I don't know if it goes to this one or that one or this one. They all connect. And there's another lighter one that kind of goes like there. Well, it looks like they go there. And 
another one. And maybe a little bit more. Yeah, about like that. Spiny dorsal has a few. It's got a couple of couple of rows right here. And another one. And then I think a few here. Well, it looks like, yeah, they kind of fade out, I guess, but uh, they're there. Here we are. That's fine. This could be kind of considered spots too, really, so. Okay, then there's some back here. A sharpen pen will leak through your other colors. If you put them on, you know, light enough, they definitely will. And so, you just kind of use these as your guidelines. If you know what I mean. Kind of break up a little. Good enough right there. See, we're gonna like do the edges anyway and highlight the fin, so. I don't know if there's any down here. I don't see them really. I don't see them here either. So basically all we gotta do is worry about right in here. Looks like the first one go takes about yeah, about three scales. Looks like one, two, three. Three scales. And then it takes about two scales. Then, right there's a spot there. Then it connects. Then it does it again right here. Almost the same design. Three, then two, then three, then two, possibly even two above it. It could be two, three, and then two. Okay, so they're 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 doing their thing. They're making spots, and there's still sporadic spots even in between. Like here's one. And then Here's one, and you go, here's one, here's one, and here's one, that's three. Well, yeah, this next one goes four, four scales. Then, looks like, like maybe four scales that way. And then it goes down to like three scales. And then it goes down to two. Or about the width. I, you don't have to be exactly on the scale, but. Okay, then. And they're, they're relating roughly to the lines above them, sort of. So that's another thing. Kind of, kind of hard to, I guess all in all, yeah, it's just a. You make almost like a, <clears throat> hmm. yeah, that's kind of a little bit weird.
You don't have to be right up on the line on all of them. Seems like towards the front they do it. Okay, then we go down here. And toward the end, it actually seems like it wants to go to the lateral line even a little bit more. It's weird. Okay, so we've got that at the lateral line. Below that, there's a couple here, a little a couple of streaks here, a couple of little spots in a row. They, they'll make a little clump there. That's kind of how they're doing. Let's see what we got going on through here. We've got huh. Yeah, the spottings are clumped together more right Kind of right in the middle more than anything like right here Right there towards the back even Let's see right here. When you get down through here, it's almost like like they're going around making a little spot, sort of. I don't, I don't can't can't hard to hard to explain it. I'll try to dress it up here in a second. I say spotting, but they're actually like individual scales, and a lot of them are together. What you can do with your airbrush, or heck, even just a brush, I guess this, this could count as a brush. Well, I'm thinking by the time you go over all these marks with your airbrush, it's not going to look so harsh. That's just a Sharpie pen. Airbrush will soften the edges of every mark, maybe even make them a little bit thicker. And all that's going to look pretty good when it's done. But just use my paint schedule and uh, it should come out pretty good.